I was part of the youth group at Not Avenue Christian Church, and a couple from Abounding Grace um, came to speak about abortion, and they were there to show us a video. The video just opened my eyes. I saw little babies, um, little little dead uh, babies, and I just it broke my heart. When I found out I was pregnant at the time, I was 17 years old. I was a junior in high school. I didn't have a job. My boyfriend didn't have a job. He was actually going to jail in a couple of months. Um, I was living a very um, party kind of lifestyle. I tried to find strength in my friends. I tried to find strength in my boyfriend. I tried to find strength in um, anything that was around me. I was just trying to just um, find something that would help me get through those um, nights that I was just thinking there's no way I could do this. It wasn't until I just gave my life over to God that I realized everything was going to be okay. When I first found out that Carmen was pregnant, I was in shock. I didn't know what we were going to do. I knew we had no plan. I knew the odds were all against us and um, in the back of my head the reason that I was so supportive of her I just knew that if anyone could go through this and make it through it would be me and her together. My life now is a lot different from how it used to be. My boyfriend at the time, Joseph, is now my husband and we're just so blessed to be able to do life together and raise our child together. It wasn't how I thought life was going to be with a child being so young. It wasn't how I thought I would feel with my, having a husband so young, being a mom. It wasn't at all because I thought it was going to be a horrible experience and although there's still struggles along the way, we get through them and I'm very, very happy. The best thing is that I look at him and I know this is, I'm going to be with him for the rest of my life. I'm going to know that that decision that we made that day, like I'm still going to be able to be with him and he's going to be able to know that I'm here for him. baby Matthew he's the most amazing thing that ever happened in my life and he just showed me how to be a better person I just think oh my goodness I would have never known that you like to eat so much I would have never known that you love it when I scratch your ear um, but I love it that I can get to know him each and every day and our bond is just getting stronger every day God just providing for us through many different ways, um, and every single way, it's unexpected. We never know where it's going to come from, but we just trust in Him, and He'll provide through other people, through uh, situations and events that come into our lives, that we just keep our faith in Him and our eyes on Him instead of looking to other places, and um, somehow we always are provided for and given more than we expected. I didn't get an abortion and I thank God for taking me, intervening in my life and taking me to Not Avenue Christian Church and allowing me to see that video. I have no regrets. For all the guys, um, pretty much you may think your life is good now and you may ruin your life, but you will only begin your life once you make the decision to actually keep your child. Um, because by not, it's a trick because by not you will end up ruining your life. You'll end up thinking about it every single day. You'll know when that day comes. Your child would have been one, your child would have been two, your child would have been three. As a girl, um, speaking to other girls, because I, I was a very young girl when I got pregnant, I want you to know that um, I don't know how it feels to get an abortion and I have no idea um, what they would go through. I can't warn you against it, but I can tell you how great it feels to have your baby and how amazing um, it feels to be able to hold your baby and know that you're somebody's favorite person in the whole entire world. Mm -hmm.